Hello everyone, let's continue our course. Uh, in this chapter, we will talk about uh, this internet and internet related network. Uh, in this topology, we have intranet a mobile network, Soho, uh, server, and IP hotel. They consist into internet, and the internet will provide uh, multiple services such as the website and uh, such as email, such as the video and so on. Uh, and now we have mobile network. We can use our cell phone to view the website and talk to each other. Evolution of network. In the past, uh, the host to host we use low speed lines. They can communicate and transmit information very slowly. Uh, and then uh, the, our network developed. Between the host to the other host, we can use some uh, devices such as hub or switch communicate to each other. So the local area network is developed. Uh, and then uh, intra-network interconnection has developed. There's a line and PC and there's router. Uh, they consist one intra network. But between the router we have the one. Uh, the one can across public network and communicate from this router to this router. This is our network topologies. Uh, we have the bus bus uh, it is a line and connected all the node together. They can use the bus to communicate. Next is the star. Star is we have a central node and the other node need to connect it to this central node. Uh, it has another name. It's called uh, hub and spoke. This is hub. This is spoke. Hub and spoke. And another one is the tree. Tree, uh, you, you will understand. Uh, this may be the root of this tree. And this is the leaf, leaf and branch of this tree. Here is the ring structure network. All the nodes uh, connect to each other. And uh, it's like a circle. And finally, we have this mesh. Mesh network, uh, from each node, it can directly connect to the other node. From this one, it can connect to all the other, all the others. So, um, if we want our network uh, very stable and reliable, we can try to use the mesh network. Uh, if your network structure is the branch to your headquarters, you can use the star. This is headquarter, this is branch. Uh, if you are building your IP RAM or IP backhaul network, you can use the ring structure because uh, it has redundant link. If one link down, the other one can continue forwarding the traffic. Composing of internet. Uh, in this page, we need to understand uh, the two word is line and one. What is LINE? LINE is local area network. Uh, the scope is very uh, small, small area, such as one building, uh, one city, or one enterprise. We can call that is a LINE. Uh, the one, the one network can across different city. Maybe one uh, country that is a one. So the line and one uh, became together and they become to internet. Line characteristics and common equipments. Uh, we have in the past we have the hub and the ATM switch. Uh, the hub is a, a traditional old device. It can only work as a half duplex mode, so the transmission speed is very slow. 
Now we use the switch and the router to switch connect to our line and the router connect to our one. This is our now the line structure devices. Uh, commonly used equipment in one. First we can think about uh, the modem. In the past we use modem and uh, connect our uh, home to internet and the router. Router, what's the meaning of the router? Router connected different networks. Uh, one switch. This one switch providing a layer two public connection and access server. This is uh, the common equipment of the one. Actually, uh, internet, the internet structure, um, we can think about uh, internet is provided by ISP. ISP is Internet Service Provider. This provider can be very large. It can uh, connect Asia to Europe, for example, uh, between the continent. So this we can call international ISP. If we, I want to communicate from China to uh, Europe or any other places, uh, we need to across the international ISP. And then uh, in one country, we have national ISP. And then area ISP and the locally ISP. So if we need to uh, communicate in one country, we only use the national. If we use international, uh, we need to use international ISP. Uh, this is a typical structure of internet. Uh, in this chapter, we have learned common network topologies. For example, the ring, uh, hub spoke, and uh, the other mesh, the line characteristic and common equipment, and commonly used equipment in one, and also the internet structure. Here's one question. Uh, what's the difference between line and WAN? In our learning, uh, we understand the line is only used in, what, in the small area, and WAN is used in public. So the difference is a line is formed by connected communication devices in a small area. The one is as uh, covers a large geographic scope such as state or continent. That's all for this chapter. Thanks for watching.